The upcoming Iowa caucuses have many presidential candidates spreading, spreading, spending time in Iowa this holiday season. One of those candidates, Michelle Bachman, made a stop in Waverly yesterday to a crowd of supportive fans. But it was two Waverly Shell Rock students who had the media talking and the social networks on fire last night. After a Q&A session about same-sex marriage and gay rights, the candidate and the two students met face-to-face. -face. It was all captured on video by Waverly newspaper e editor Anelia Dimitrova, who joins us in the studio in th this evening, along with Jane Schmidt, president of Waverly Shell Rock Gay Straight Alliance, and also junior Ellen Newell. And before we begin our conversation, let's go ahead and take a look at that debate. What would you do to help protect GSAs in high school and support the LGBT community? Well, number one, um, all of us as Americans have the same rights. We have the same civil rights. And so that's really what government's role is, is to protect our civil rights. There shouldn't be any special rights or special set of criteria based upon people's um, preferences. But wouldn't uh, heterosexual couples, they're given a privilege then that um, gay couples aren't? Like, given that privilege to get married, but heterosexual couples are given a privilege to get married? Well, and, and remember, every American citizen has the right to avail themselves of marriage, but they have to follow what the laws are. And the laws are you marry a person of the opposite sex. Anelia Dimitrova is the editor at Waverly Newspapers, and she shot the video of Ella and Jane debating same-sex marriage about with the presidential candidate, Michelle Bachman. So I hear that this video is going viral on YouTube and, and on the Internet. Can That's you explain right. why? That's right. It's going viral on YouTube, but also it's the top story on CNN's I Report. A lot of other blogs have uh, included it in their presentations for the day. Uh, why? Um, I think it hit a nerve. I think uh, it uh, rarely do you see such candid interaction between candidates and, and teens. And, and I think together, the, the topic itself and the way they interacted, I think it hit a nerve with a lot of people. You can, yeah, it, it, it's rare. It's rare to see such, such candor. Did you think that this was going to go viral when you were filming it? I, I knew, I knew right away it was going to be a very special moment. Uh, the, the minute that, that she walked up to, to the young people in the back of the, of the room and, and the minute I heard the first question, I knew it was going to be a, a, a media magnet and really a storm, um, internet storm. All right. Well, we are also joined by Jane and Ella, who are the stars of the video. So, guys, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like to be talking to a presidential candidate that close and on an issue this heated? Well, um it was it was kind of one of those things that I I felt like it was just the right thing for me to ask about an issue like that because I feel like a lot of people are very uncomfortable bringing issues like that up especially in like small towns where obviously LGBT communities are definitely minority so I felt like it was just the right thing to do and it was kind of intimidating talking to a presidential candidate and having people clap for her when what she said really wasn't making very much sense. Did you mention the crowd clapping? I mean, did that offend you guys? Did you feel negative feedback from the crowd? There was some negative feedback, for, like, on, from my opinion, from the crowd. Um, people, when she would uh, say certain things, the crowd would do, like, really weird things. Like, there were people screaming, yeah, America! And like it was just, it was really, <laughs> it was really strange. Like some of the feedback the crowd was giving. You guys are involved with Gay Straight Alliance at Waverly Shell Rock. What other types of things are you guys doing um, in in your club at school? Uh, well, this year we've definitely stepped up a lot, and we've gotten a lot more active. We participated in Anti Homophobia Day. We like passed out rainbow bracelets before school. Um, had locker posters, painted rainbows on people's hands uh, to raise awareness about like homophobia and kind of target it a little bit. And we're also, today we even participated in World AIDS Day. And we passed out cookies to people who were red. And we also applied for a grant today to do a project on AIDS awareness. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. And uh, good luck with everything that you guys go forward with yeah. this in the future. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank, thank you. you.